In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to share Google Forms with colleagues. We've spent a little bit of time in the past looking at how to use Google Forms as a quick formative assessment tool in the classroom. And now you've started creating some pretty nice Google Forms and you might want to share them with another teacher. So let's start to divide and conquer. One of the things that you'll want to know is that Google Forms takes all of that data and puts it up into the cloud. And when you share it with another person, you'll get mixed results. Meaning that when you share a Google Form with a colleague and they start using it with their students, all of that data is going to get combined together. In Google Forms, unlike other Google Documents, sharing is called collaborating. And as a result, it assumes that you want to mix the results. You're working with somebody who you're collaborating with, who also has the same user base as you, and wants the same data as you. But obviously in a classroom situation you've got different groups of students and you'll want to separate out that information. What you're going to need to do in a nutshell is make a personal copy of whatever Google form has been shared with you. So you'll have your form and I'll have my form. Here's how you're going to do that. When I have a quiz I'm going to make sure that I name it with my teacher name on it so that when I share it with another teacher they'll be clear that this form is the one that belonged to you. Then you're going to add a collaborator. So you click on File and go to the Add Collaborators link. And then you're going to invite whoever you're going to let collaborate. But as you can see over here, they're going to have editing rights. So what I recommend doing is making sure that you put a little message here that says, don't modify the form, always make a copy, just as a reminder and until we get comfortable sharing our forms the right way. The next thing that you'll need to do is if the form has been shared with you, you're going to have to open it up. So you could either do that from an email or you can go into your Google Drive menu and click on the Shared With Me tab and find the quiz that was shared. Once you've opened it up, you're going to go up to the File and Make Copy. When you're making a copy, you're going to want to rename your document. So it'll say something like Copy Of Super Cool Quiz. You're going to want to get rid of the words Copy Of and change the name of the other teacher who shared it with you to your name. The other thing to keep in mind is that you'll have renamed the form up here but the name of the form that will show up that students will see needs to also be changed so be sure to change both of those. Now I'm going to demonstrate this quickly in a live document. Here I've got the form that I made and that I'd like to share with another teacher. It's got my name on it and I'm going to go to file and add collaborators. I'll come down to the Invite People field and put in an email. I'll add a message here to remind them to make a copy and then click Send. For the teacher that I've shared this with, they'll need to go to their Shared With Me drive and then open up the quiz. Since this is not my name now, I need to go to File, Make a Copy, take off the copy of, and change this to whatever name you have. Then remember once you've created it that even though it changed the name up here you'll need to go into the name on the form itself and change it here as well. Now you're ready to modify this form however you need and then share that form with your students.